From the incredible moment a powerful tsunami crashes into shore, and a massive landslide carries several empty houses out to sea, to a terrifying close-range tornado tearing through a city street and an underwater sinkhole swallowing tree after tree. Here are 10 of the greatest natural disasters ever caught on camera. The Canton of Valais is one of 26 cantons, or states, that combine to form Switzerland. It sits in the southwestern part of the country, sharing borders with Italy in the south and France in the west. It's one of three alpine cantons and is known for its wine and brandy production. But in the summer of 2018, they were known for their mudslides. On August 7th of 2018, a powerful mudslide tore through the village of Grunier. Heavy rainstorms triggered a freak mud flood high in the mountains, and it raced towards the town with frightening speed. Locals gather to watch the dirt and debris come through the waterway. They back up when they realize the mudslide is traveling faster than expected, which turns out to be a good idea. The mud cascades over the walls and moves a black SUV on the other side. By the end, it looks like a massive volcanic eruption left a trail of ash on the street. There were no injuries reported by Swiss authorities and only minor damage to some cars and buildings. We can't say for sure how much mud fell on Grunier that day, but we can safely assume the cleanup lasted a while. Back in 2009, a massive landslide carried away two houses in eastern Germany. This image you see here sparked our interest to find any footage we could of the event, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like any exists. Instead, we found something even bigger. Alta, Norway is a city that sits on the northern part of the country, along the banks of the Alta Fjord. Back on June 3rd of 2020, a man was making lunch when he heard creaking coming from outside. When he went to look, he saw power lines ripping and the ground moving. Immediately, he ran outside and began filming. Here is the raw, uncut footage that he captured.
A massive landslide carries houses, barns, and trees into the Alta Fjord. There was no stopping it once it got going, and all anybody could do was watch as their homes got swept off to sea. It almost looks like someone dropped their Monopoly pieces in the bathtub. According to the New York Times, the landslide swept eight houses into the water. Thankfully, nobody got hurt, and the buildings were mostly vacation homes and cabins. The landslide ran over 2,100 feet along the shore and began nearly 500 feet inland, making it the largest they'd ever seen in Alta. The landslide was the result of quick clay, a term used to describe when clay collapses and flows like water. You can find such clay in Scandinavia, Canada, Russia, and Alaska. It's basically an unstable holdover from the last ice age. This wasn't the first time Norway experienced landslides of this nature, and I'm sure it won't be the last. Marshalltown, Iowa sits on the banks of the Iowa River and is home to just over 27,000 people. They all know the risk they take living out in Tornado Alley, though Marshalltown itself has an on-again, off-again history with powerful storms. An F3 tornado hit the south side of town on April 23rd of 1961, damaging several structures and causing about $1 million in damages. Almost 60 years later, another EF3 storm, now using the enhanced Fujita scale, ripped through downtown at around 4.30 in the afternoon. One man was brave enough to stand in an alley and record the twister as it tore down the street. Now, whether you call it brave or reckless, you can't deny the amazing footage. The storm rips apart power lines and sends light debris flying in every direction. It completely levels the wooden fence as it gets closer, and our cameraman is forced to take cover. This storm was part of a two-day tornado outbreak between July 19th and 20th. In total, 31 confirmed tornadoes touched down over 33 hours across several towns, including Marshalltown, Pella, and Lavilia. The two most powerful storms were an EF3 in Pella and the EF3 we see in this video. The Marshalltown storm tore the spire off the courthouse roof and damaged several businesses, homes, and historic downtown buildings. It lasted 23 harrowing minutes and carved an eight-mile path of destruction through the heart of town. Altogether, the storms caused $320 million in damages, but nobody lost their lives. La Grave is a ski resort tucked away in the French Alps. Unlike your typical ski mountain, La Grave is unpisted, meaning there aren't marked trails. On top of that, there are no formal means of avalanche control, something you would typically expect in a place like this. Back in March of 2015, a group of friends were on the mountain enjoying a day of riding. During a stop on one of their runs, they noticed what appeared to be an avalanche forming off in the distance. From the video, it seems that they were first excited at the sight, but this excitement quickly turned to fear once they noticed that it was headed right for them.
In the span of only 40 seconds, the bright and sunny day turned into a terrifying moment. Thankfully, they were far enough away to only get hit by a light dusting. By the time it passed, everyone was in high spirits and seemed to have enjoyed the experience. Avalanches occur all the time, but to film one that big hitting you head-on is definitely a rare moment. Tonga is a Polynesian country in the South Pacific, about 400 miles southeast of Fiji. Officially known as the Kingdom of Tonga, it reigns over 171 tiny islands scattered over 270,000 square miles of ocean. Of the 104,000 people that live in the kingdom, 70% reside on the main island of Tonga Tapu. Tonga made national headlines in January of 2022, when Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, a massive submarine volcano, erupted off of its north coast. Now, while the eruption didn't send lava spewing across the Tonga Islands, it did send a powerful tsunami that inundated all 171 islands with water. As this video clearly shows, tsunamis don't have to be monster waves to cause a major problem. Our camera person stands safely on a rooftop as a 1.2-meter tsunami wave washes over the shore, crashing through a fence and floods their backyard. Water covers the entire coastline as the camera pans back and forth. Then, another wave crashes over the street, adding insult to injury. The Tonga eruption was not a good day for the kingdom. The tsunami knocked out communication and claimed four lives. Among them were two animal shelter owners who perished while trying to save their dogs. The Tonga tsunami didn't stop at the kingdom either. Waves made it all the way to Peru and California. According to scientists, the energy released by the Tonga volcano was equivalent to 61 megatons of TNT, more powerful than the Tsar Bomba, aka the largest nuke ever detonated. After the North Dakota oil boom, the city of Dickinson became one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. In fact, the population has almost doubled over the past 20 years. Those new residents learned that Dickinson is oddly prone to hailstorms. Between 2013 and 2016, there were nine reported hailstorms within a 10-mile radius. One of those storms hit in June of 2016, and a local man recorded the event from the safety of his home. What began as a light storm turned into a dangerous nightmare in the blink of an eye.
The video begins with pretty heavy hail, and you can see bits of leaves fluttering through the yard. But the storm picks up, the wind and lightning intensify, and branches start flying around like they're coming out of a wood chipper. By the end, his lawn looks like someone emptied a giant salt shaker on the grass. Once all was said and done, hundreds of properties were damaged. Virtually every home in the town had a claim of some kind, not to mention all the cars riddled with dents. Thankfully, though, it doesn't seem that any injuries were reported. Assumption Parish is a parish or county located in southern Louisiana. Towards the northern border of the county lies a problem that has plagued the area for years, the Bayou Corn Sinkhole. It was first discovered in August of 2012 and forced 350 residents to evacuate their homes. The following year, the government sent a team out to investigate the sinkhole. As soon as they got there, they knew something was up. John Boudreau took out his camera and began filming right as the sinkhole opened up beneath the water, swallowing several trees in a matter of seconds. The sinkhole swallows the trees with ease. One by one, they disappear below the surface, never to be seen again. It must have been a pretty scary feeling to be standing so close to it. Thankfully for John and his team, they all walked away uninjured. The cause of the sinkhole was found to be from a salt mine which had collapsed. Problems began back in 2010, when the company that owned the mine applied for a permit to expand it. Tests were done to determine if it would be safe, and the results were unsatisfactory. Undeterred, the company continued onwards, and, well, you know what happened next. By 2018, the sinkhole had grown to encompass 34 acres and is believed to still be expanding today. Wildfires can start for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's malicious intent or human error. Other times, nature simply finds a way. The car fire in 2018 was one that Mother Nature simply can't be blamed for. While driving down a highway, an RV got a flat tire, and as the driver continued on, sparks began to fly from the wheel as it scraped the asphalt, igniting dry brush off the side of the road. The fire spread unhindered for days, ultimately burning 369 square miles of Shasta, California. Video from a helicopter shows us the scale of the blaze. For as far as the eye can see, the hills burned. But there is something else they captured that ended up being the real highlight. Known as the Redding Fire Whirl, the crew captured what many believe to be the largest fire NATO ever seen. It stretched a whopping 18,000 feet into the air and reached wind speeds of 143 miles per hour, on par with an EF-3 tornado. Notice the rotating vortex of smoke around the fire. In the end, the car fire destroyed 1,600 buildings, almost 1,100 of which were residential properties. It was the seventh most destructive fire in California history and took nearly 5,000 firefighters to contain. What started as a simple flat tire turned into a $1.6 billion nightmare. Just before noon on April 25th of 2015, a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Nepal. It struck the Gorkha district near the capital city of Kathmandu, which is home to about 252,000 people. Thankfully, most civilians were outside when the earthquake hit, drastically reducing the loss of life. The earthquake's epicenter was east of the district. 
Its hypocenter, or where the quake originated, was only five miles below ground. It was the worst natural disaster to hit Nepal since 1934, when the Nepal-Bihar earthquake claimed over 10,000 lives. CCTV footage captured the moment the earthquake struck the capital city. Pedestrians run into the streets to escape the buildings. But this first quake wasn't the end, not by a long shot. Aftershocks continued in the days following, with two registering at 6.6 .6 and 6.7. Two weeks later, a massive 7.3 magnitude aftershock hit the country, but it could honestly be considered its own earthquake. This one happened closer to the Chinese border, between Kathmandu and Mount Everest, and struck about 11 and a half miles below the surface. Earthquakes weren't the only natural disaster plaguing the area that day. Avalanches on Mount Pumori, a Himalayan mountain about five miles west of Mount Everest, led to the worst day in Everest history. The earthquake caused snow and ice to tumble down the mountain and crash into the south base camp on Mount Everest. The summer of 2022 and beyond has been a catastrophic time for Pakistan. Record-setting temperatures melted glaciers in the northeastern part of the country. At the same time, southern Pakistan experienced back-to-back -back heat waves between May and June, both setting and then breaking their own records. Sherry Rahman, the Pakistani Minister of Climate Change, pointed to the massive increase in rainfall as a contributing factor. According to her, at least one-third of the country is underwater, as places like Sindh and Balochistan provinces received 784% and 500% more rainfall than expected. Sadly, the floods have already claimed almost 1,600 lives and counting. Experts say the flooding and heavy monsoons have affected 33 million people and caused $40 billion in damages thus far. There's no telling how long it'll last, and the footage and photos coming out of Pakistan are breaking hearts around the world. Since mid-June, Pakistan has lost over 800,000 homes, with another 1.2 million receiving some kind of flood damage. Sindh and Balochistan provinces received the bulk of the damage, losing almost 1 million livestock animals, 7,900 miles of road, and 374 bridges. These figures all according to the National Disaster Management Authority of Pakistan. The 2022 Pakistan floods are quickly becoming one of the worst in modern history. To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.